So. Okay, can you hear us now? Oh, I can see our circle yeah, is moving. I don't know. Okay, can you hear us right now? now? we've got feedback. Oh, I can see our circle is moving. Graham, can I just close your YouTube window, please? No. Oh, I need that. Okay, can you hear us now? We've got feedback. What a nightmare. <laughs> I'll, I'll sort it. I'll sort it. <laughs> Too many wires here. Oh, God. Sorry, guys. It's a good job we're not in charge of passengers or anything like that, or real yeah. people being lives. Right, settings. <laughs> Camera. Why isn't it working? It's working a minute ago. It's got to be that thing that's following us around. Who am I, Camera? It's Megan doing uh, black magic. Megan's black magic. This is no good. Rhea, Rhea where, how often have we had this problem? You can hear me and I can't hear you. Is that Rue? Rue. Can't see or hear, Christine says. Right. I'm going to. No, no, no. Well, let's bear with it. There's got to be a camera at wire. It's plugged in. But is it plugged into the right thing? Let me try it in a different port. Now we've got no camera, so why doesn't the normal just get the standard camera to work? It won't work. I clicked on it. That's bizarre. Start cam. There you go. Got it. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear me. Just carry on without the visual or the sound. <laughs> what a nightmare. Excellent. Right, so we'll do away with all the fancy extras, yeah, and we'll just... Yeah, I think yeah, we could turn I've that got, down as well. I've got sound, I've got sound, that's working. Right, so... Sorry about that. Let's start again. <laughs> Electrical genius is at work. <laughs> oh, right, Linda just said sound and blurred video. So maybe in settings we can go to a higher resolution to make it a bit... No, you can't. It's, that's, that's it. It only lets you have... Ah, uh, right, right, OK. You've got some, this is the free version of oh, Stream. I see. I see. You have oh, to pay right. extra for the HD version. <laughs> right, here we are. I've made a list. So I'm a little bit organised. I've made a list. The things to oh, no, James, don't do that. What are you doing? I'll give the lens away. That sometimes helps with blurred vision. <laughs> <laughs> it's got greasy fingers been on the, over the lens. Yeah. Oh, well, that's the best we can do for now. Yeah. Right. right. I hear you. Visual is fine. It's okay. It's okay. All good. Right. Excellent. Excellent. Um, yeah. And if the, the noise you might hear in the background is the fan, we can turn that off if it is. Can you hear you. that noise? Is that irritating? That was the next question. Because I'll turn it off. And that's it off. So if you can bear it with it on. It's better for us because it's stinking out here. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. No, 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 no. So I think it's, I think it's okay. Okay, I'll put it on. It's on low no, anyway. No, it's good. Right. Um, as I was saying, I've been catching up on. I've made a list. Been catching up on a few YouTubers. I saw Neil Sean saying, "Have you got another YouTube window open in the background so I can hear myself mm. on delay, like in America?" Don't think so. Maybe. Just check on the oh other. Nice yes, there. I have. Yes, there if you go. could. Thank you. That's brilliant. Close that. And then cool. Ah, right. That's fantastic. Yeah, according to Neil Sean, allegedly, as he always says, um, Harry's been trying to reach out to William to get involved in some homeless project. Now, putting aside the fact that probably Harry is running out of money, um, and then he thinks it's a good idea. And I think William's in charge of the Duchy of Cornwall now, isn't he? Yeah, he'll be a billionaire soon. Probably is a billionaire now. Um, or maybe he wants good PR, which is what Neil was saying. Um, or maybe he's sick of his wife and he's trying to find a way back. They're all possibilities, aren't they? That's the ice maker, by the way. Yeah, I can't turn that off either. Oh, no, that's life support. Total life support. Yes, our voices are echoing. You've still got yet another window open in the background. I can I hear you. You have. You have. I haven't. Oh, believe me. Hang on, hang on. 
that was it. You just you were just on there. You can close that window as well. How many windows do you need open? I don't know. This is StreamYard, yeah? Yeah. Right, that's better. I can't hear myself now, otherwise it was echoey. Hello, Fiona and Graham. I'm staining my window trim today on my cabin in Idaho. Nice. Very, very nice. Oh, yes, I forgot. We can click on comments on this. It's, I get confused. It's between... what's best for StreamYard. And you can get other people on, you know, if somebody wants exactly. to come on, they could. Exactly, exactly. You can't do that on YouTube, just on the YouTube uh, live. Yes, there are homeless everywhere. Yes, it's terrible. I, I was amazed how many people are homeless in uh, California. They've been in tents on the pavement. And on, cars. And on they're, the sidewalk. they're not unemployed either. I watched a whole program about it. They live in their cars because they're, I, I don't know, they're trying to clear bills or they're trying to save up for something. They've got jobs and they live There's in their cars. There's whole communities. And it, yeah. I, I just found that incredible. Absolutely incredible. But yes, so Harry's looking, allegedly, according to Neil Sean, and uh, um, I can well believe it. Um, what do you think? Is that him trying to find a way back in because it's over with him and Megan? Have you had a letter from Robin Kennedy? Uh, no, not yet. Not that I know of. I haven't been into the safari office um, in about a week, but they normally give me a ring. On a tell us there's a letter. Yeah. Making Icelandic bread. Um, well, Ben's in there every day, so he'd bring it when it arrives. The post is crap here. He it's, hasn't been in for a few days. He's been off for about four days now. So right. none of us have, none of us have been in. Um, but I will keep an eye out for it. Don't worry. Uh, please do not let the Harkles back. Yes, that I knew a lot of you would say that. And that was my first thought as well. You know, oh, forgive and forget. Get, bring them back. Have them involved in No, no, absolutely not. But I'm wondering if... Well, whatever his motivations, if it's true, for reaching out to William, it could be a good opportunity for William to lay down some boundaries, don't you think? And say, well, we, we'll take this baby steps, Harry. Yeah. Firstly, come alone. That's a big thing. Uh, he's looking for good publicity. Maybe, yes. Maybe. Um, or money. I'm thinking money. Yeah, because I saw Buckingham Palace, uh, the the treasury of the purse or something, uh, um, the guy or woman who's in charge of all the palace financials said Harry did pay 2.4 million towards rent and renovations of Hogmore. Yeah, but don't I give him that 2 point million anyway? What, it it's some a... free money, Harry, to pay the bill with it. Hi, there you go. Oh, I've paid the bill. Oh, thanks very much, Harry. There you go. <laughs> There's another three million. Yeah, just go, go and amuse yourself. Buy some drugs. You know? Maybe, maybe. Yes, it could have just been a paperwork exercise. Well, but the post is slow in, uh, in Gibraltar. Is, is. I don't know where you posted it from. Um, a fella posted us a book from from Hastings, and it, it took about a month to get here. Yes, it can be very, very, very slow. And if you put the postcode on, it goes to It gets lost in Aldershot if you put Aldershot, the postcode yeah. on it, yeah. yeah. It's a G. Postcode, isn't it? HC's great publicity with William and is getting and trying to get on it, just like Princess, William. Yeah. Princess Carol. Have you read the notice from Bookworm on her community page asking if YouTubers have had comments deleted? No, I haven't seen that because I don't get notifications for an awful lot of people. Again, I'm not getting notifications for Sue Smith. And Sue's one of my top favourites. Um, no, I haven't noticed that, but I'll tell you what I do notice is... When, when I put a video up, the first comments, I work my way through and then I go to newest comments. But when I go to top, there are some of you, it's like you posted a comment, but YouTube held it for about 10 or 20 minutes, sometimes half an hour before they make it public. So I have to go from the top again because intermittently there are ones, it looks like I've missed them, but that's not the case. They just were not there and they weren't visible to me. I don't know if... YouTube actually delete comments. When a comment disappears, I assume one of you, are, you know, you've deleted your own comment. So I don't know. Well, then it will get here. Yeah, don't worry, it will. It's it just will. slow, you know. It's what you get for living at the end of the world. Sue Port Potter says uh, he needs intervention. Yes. Well, we were talking about this the other day, weren't we? And um, it's it. I mean, a lot of you made the point he's a fully grown man, so it's got to be his decision. 
Um, and I'm sure there will come a point when he comes crawling, basically, when the money runs out, wouldn't you think? How, how on earth would he survive without the, all the trimmings? That the free handouts. He, he would... I mean, if he got a job in McDonald's, <coughs> like making bonds and Big Macs and things, he'd be fired within a week. You know he would, because he'd be useless. He couldn't hold the job down. It is but, empty in bins, Harry. He might be all right, empty in bins. He could... He's quite a strong lad, isn't he? Even if he could hold down a job, he'd have the breasts there taking pictures of him all day long. Gary's a bit man. Driving him crazy. Oh so, no, when the money runs out, of course, that's that's when that will happen. And I think that what MI6 could do is show him some evidence of perhaps things his wife's done behind his back. Open his eyes a little bit. I And I can't understand why they haven't really appeared to have done that at all. I find that quite astonishing. Because the Windsors are the top of the food chain. Yeah. And he's got loads of spare rooms. There's loads of homeless people in California. So if he really wanted, if he cared, you know, he could he could put a few people up, couldn't he, in his mansion? It but might. It wouldn't cost much, would it? He'd only be there for a couple of weeks. Yeah, and let someone else have a turn, you know? A need for privacy. Yeah, yeah. People would be looking at them, wouldn't they? Yeah, yeah. Stop looking at them. I, I hear Megan's writing a book. It's going to be a top selling author like Harry. What happened to her bench, eh? She's, she's going to do humorous... Um... That was a big flop, wasn't it? A wench on the bench. I mean, it was hardly the little caterpillar, Harry. was it? <laughs> yes. Um, and I was also watching the Royal Grift today. Very interesting. I don't watch all of her videos because I don't understand a lot about the tax and stuff like that. And it's not really something that... Um, hits my rage vein, if you know what I mean. I know it does a lot of people and it's great that it's covered, but I have my own things. But I did watch her update today about the court case between Samantha Markle and Meghan Markle. Now, oh my God. Massachusetts. Oh, what's that? Uh, right, no, you're killing me. Please don't, please don't. Just turn your phone off for a bit. <laughs> Quite a few people. Well, they don't know, do they? They don't know we're live. I did tell the kids, please don't ring in the next hour or so. Aeroplane mode. There we go. Um, yes, what was I saying? Um, yeah, the court case. She did an update. So go have a look at her video. What's interesting is apparently at the beginning, Megan um, and her legal team cited episode five in the Netflix thing, which I think is the one Christopher Boozy starred in. And they have just recently, the Royal Grift said, submitted a flash drive, a stick, memory stick, with that episode on it for the judge to watch. Now, I agree with the Royal Grift. Why did they need to do that at this moment in time? Why not do that at the beginning? And also, why does the judge need it on a flash drive? Why can't she just watch it on Netflix? So I, if I was the judge, I would be watching the one on the flash drive and the one on Netflix to see, see if, it if has the flash been, drive has been tampered with. Well, see if the episode has been left re something out or tweaked something, re-edited or something. And also, it's interesting. I think they're wise to have the courts, though. Aren't they? They're not stupid. I I don't know. You know, if they're busy, I don't know. But, oh, I misremembered. I left something out. But also, for me, because um, Royal Griff was saying, why why has she just done it now? And for me, that's a big thing. And they say they're doing it because they want the judge to have the visual effect, which I understand. I mean, we've made the point lots of times when someone gives evidence, it's never as strong just a written statement as it is a person speaking when you can see their face. And actually, I think episode five would do Megan a lot more harm than good with the judge because she can't see herself, how snide she comes across, her facial Despicable expressions. Despicable little snot. <laughs> <laughs> well said, Mary. <laughs> Couldn't have put it better myself. Um, so I'm thinking that the fact they, they've presented this pen drive now and said they want to emphasise visual representation to the judge, I sense that as panic. That's like, oh my God, we're going to lose this last application. They're not throwing it out. We need to push this. That's I mean, I've been in court a lot for various things. And you do tend to read a lot in when the opposition makes a certain move don't you you start to think why are they doing that why now they're obviously feeling threatened or they're feeling their case is being weakened antennas come up yeah yeah 
So I sense uh, panic in Megan's camp that it's not going to be quite as easy as, oh, va vexatious. Oh, just, just flick it. I don't want to talk about it. So I don't know that. Um, I forget. Can't a computer be hacked with a fast drive? So she could hack the, the judge's computer by plugging it in. And suck all the data off. Yes, I think they're both guilty. Yeah. That would be a, an audacious move, though, wouldn't it? it to was. hack a judge. Let's go to jail for that. For sure. Oh, I misremembered. I must have left the program on. I must have given you the wrong flash drive. Well, her lawyers, her lawyers will um, get the blame. She would never get the blame. Netflix so I thought. isn't available on judges' chambers. Well, watch it. I'm sure they could watch anything they want. Oh, the right. judge, the judge needs to watch some yeah, evidence. I think I'm sure. In this, in this instance, as it's to do with um, a court case, I guess they would download it themselves. The court would download it themselves. But presumably, Samantha will also get a copy of what's on the pen drive, and she for sure, and her lawyers, if they notice a discrepancy, are going to be the first ones to put their hand up. And if there were a discrepancy, that would look awful for Megan. That would look just terrible. That, that would look like perverting the course of justice, I think. Homeless really need help in California. Homeless need help everywhere, really. You know, government's got oh, a busy billion. I thought a billion of this. Boris Johnson, oh, it's a right, billion, right. billion, 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 billion. Oh, we're, we're, we're skins, we're skins. Can't afford to help the homeless. There's another billion. <laughs> Don't get me started on it politics. Is, well, it is amazing how <laughs> billions are available for something, yeah, but not others. Yeah, they need it. Oh, new aircraft carrier. Yeah, there you go, 100. 150 billion, whatever. However much they give, it's just telephone numbers, isn't it? It's just ridiculous yeah. amounts of money. Uh, please, sir, can we have some for money for a roof? No, no, we can't. For skins. Right. What was that? Uh, oh, I was just reading some of the things. Um, and the other thing Royal, Royal Griff was covering is she thinks that the TIG is going to be made live in the next couple of days. And I think she's probably on the money on that. She's thinking 1st of July, which apparently was Diana's birthday. Um, you know, when you're at the top of a website, when it's just HTTP, but when you've got HTTPS and the, and the little lock. Yeah. Well, Megan's website, the TIG, has not been secure all these years, and it's just been the, the certificate to renew the security has just been renewed this last Monday. So She's going to sell things. I mean, if she were to relaunch the TIG for me, I think that would be a, an enormous failure. Who'd, who'd want to buy her horrible clothes, though? Well, there will be a market for people who want to. Well, she had a, a following before. Whether they were robots, I don't know. But She'd look good in a long black dress and a pointed ass with a broomstick, I think. She'd be colour the face in green. All right, Graham. She could be the Wicked Witch of the West. Steady there you on. go. She could be make, Steady um, on, man. Steady on. Wizard of Oz. Harry could be the wizard. Right, steady, steady on. <laughs> I'll shut up. Sorry, ladies. What I was going to say is, um, if she were to relaunch the TIG, whether it's a success or not, for me, it's an enormous failure because she's gone full circle. She's been in the royal family. She's been right up there with the hoi polloi, and she's come back crashing down right where she started. If she launches that TIG, I'm going to be thinking to myself, she's desperate for cash. She'd have been spitting millions away. You watch. She'd have millions tucked away. I would if I was there, wouldn't you? Apparently, if she had an Instagram account, she could earn something like $30,000 per post, which she probably could. She probably could. I don't think I would object to it. I mean, I wouldn't really care because she's not having a go at anybody, presumably, as long as she's not having a go at anybody um, or making life difficult for someone or treading on someone. She's just putting pictures of herself, then yeah, no one's interested. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't think it's I'm not on Instagram anyway, it's not something I would follow. But it'll be interesting to see if she relaunches it. Um nice one, Carol. <laughs> I've got a fan, you see. She's my fan. Fa you've got lots of fans. I do have one somewhere. <laughs> you've got lots of fans, Graham. Just try not to be too mean to Megan. Not too mean. Well, you know, as an actress, I think that I'd give her the pass if I was auditioning for I wanted the wicked. Oh, I see if they made a remake of the West. She's got the straight, dark black hair, you know, so she's, she's halfway there. So that just needs a green face. And there, a broomstick. There was a hat. meme, a rather unkind meme of her when the Queen died of four of them, and someone had coloured Meghan's face in green and put a pointy hat on her, giving her a broomstick. Next to yeah. Harry, William, and Catherine. Yes, that was doing rounds. I saw that. Was quite it? a bit. See, um, 
H won't respect boundaries, no. Unless he's skint. If someone is skint, they have no choice whatsoever. That makes a big difference. I've got another fan, not the sewer than that. Everybody loves you. <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. I love you. I know Just you don't do. be, don't well, you're biased. Try not to be too mean. That's, I'm not too true. mean. I'm not too pretty and mean. So, yes, and someone requested today that what did we make of Judge Fancourt asking, um, apparently, um, David Sherborne was asked by Fancourt, the judge in Harry's case, um, can you actually provide any evidence? I'd like to see at least two examples of evidence. I did read that in the Telegraph. That is really quite a damning indictment isn't it when a judge says this is your last chance can you provide some evidence can you provide me with at least two examples to me it sounds like Fancorn is saying to Sherborne throw me a bone give, give me a chance I can't work with nothing if you want me to find anything on his behalf then you know give give me some uh Sue Smith said she of her people keep getting unsubscribed she was in touch with YouTube up and going down. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely still subscribed, but I don't, I just don't get notifications at all. I prefer her in Joker's makeup. Yes. Uh, she'd probably make quite a good villain, though, wouldn't she? She was a baddie. She was a murderer, wasn't she, in, um, in Castle, an episode yeah, of Castle. She was, and her acting was appalling. And I didn't know who she was at that point, but I love Castle, and I watched that episode. And I remember saying to you, that was a, a lower standard episode than usual yeah. because the lead girl who was the murderer was such a shit actress. And I had no idea it was Markle at the time. She was jogging people so and dressing them up in, in fairy tale costumes and leaving the dead bodies. That's right. That's right. It was a fairy tale. In positions and they couldn't move and they're all sitting there on the table like walk. panicking. Nice. You can see the eyes. You must have seen Castle. I love Castle. She made about 10,000 episodes. Well, she was in one of them. Quite fancy Kate Beckett actually with the cock, you know, with the gun. Yes, well, she was quite fit. Stan Akatic is very Stana, good. Yes, it's Croatian, I think. They're both brilliant in Castle. I love the episodes, and and that's why I was surprised that it was just such a shit storyline, and that the lead actress was so crap. And even normally, when they catch the murderer on Castle, the actor who's the murderer is quite good, isn't it? They do a runner, or they some do some people are brilliant. We've watched talking about people who do baddies brilliantly. But my favourite buddy at the moment is that guy who looks like Paul Burrell. Oh, oh, yes. I can't Hugh, think of his Hugh name. Bonneville. Hugh Bonneville. He plays a proper psycho murderer brilliantly. I've seen a few yeah. films of him in recently and like he's been like, whoa. Yes. <laughs> proper serious psycho. And he was a judge in one of them and he was murdering people in his basement. And he comes to the door, the police are there, go away, I'm a judge, you know. <sighs> Wicked. And he was in another one, wasn't he, that we saw the other day. He was in I Came By. That that was I Came By where he was the judge. And then yeah. he was in another one, which was kind of, it was really cool. It was period drama. I think it was set in the 70s or something, wasn't it? Or, I can't it was, I think it was quite well, an old film. He played his lordship, looked, didn't he? And uh, what was that? Down to Abbey. Down to Abbey. Yeah, I said. Mm, and he just does. He looks just like Paul Burrell. I thought, <laughs> that's Burrell. That is definitely Burrell. And she said, no, I started this other guy. But right? they do look alike, don't what they? The pictures they that do. Is. Wow. <laughs> Yes, he makes a very, very good buddy. Thanks, but, Paul yeah, Burrell looks scary. Megan was absolutely rubbish in Castle. I couldn't believe it. She was so plasticky. Um, Don't be mean. Well, I'm critiquing her profession, not her physical appearance, or wanting to paint her face green. She does voiceovers, isn't it? <laughs> I know, I hear she's very keen. Mm. Oh, whatever happened to our elephant? Whatever happened to the money that was supposed to go to charity? Did no. anybody ever get to the bottom of that? He's, he's enjoying his privacy, Harry, at the moment. He's probably in the sanitarium somewhere. We keep jogging him right. every time he wakes up. That guy who was in charge of Disney isn't in charge of Disney anymore. Which career in after Elephant? I've never heard of it, but I'm curious to watch. What? Uh, uh, Hugh, is that... Hugh Bonneville, is he called? Hugh Bonneville. Or maybe they're talking about Castle. Castle is epic. It's brilliant. But it's so funny. And, and they do lots of, like, ghost stories and aliens and Bigfoot and all crazy stuff. 
You could just Google Meghan Markle and you'll find out which episode yeah, of Castle was in. She, she was, the one, she, I, think. I think they called it Fairy Tale Killer or something like that. And it was a really stupid, lame reason that she'd been murdering everybody as well. <laughs> You can't be an insane psycho killer, murderer, baddie. I Do used to you like think it. They Blofeld. I have a brains an amusing death for you, Mr. Bond. <laughs> I used to love all that. I always wanted to be the baddie because it's more fun being the baddie, isn't it? Do you think they'll distance this? Omid's got another book coming out called <laughs> End Game. Did he write it himself? Oh, I don't know. He had any help. I'm sure he would swear blind. He didn't have any help from anybody. No. But then he might be misremembering. Oh, yes. So if he writes a book, the misremembering guy, otherwise known as lying in court, um, will anyone believe anything that's in it? I don't believe anything those two say. I think people still... have raised the subject of their children. Do you believe they have actually got... This is a question that people okay, genuinely no ask. Do you seriously believe they've got children? I have I mean, we no shouldn't idea. need to ask that question, should we? Well, they tell so many lies that nobody believes anything until they can prove it. If um, they can prove it, then we'll believe it, and not until. Unless that's how it is, that's, that's how they are. They claim racism or unconscious oh, you're bias a racist. On, on Oprah, then he denies it a year later. No, no one ever said that. Megan never said that. You know, and we all heard her say it. We saw her lips moving. They had a high speed, two mile an hour car chase in New York. It does become very hard. I mean, the Guardian... It was catastrophic, right? wasn't it, nearly? The Guardian newspaper, right? Who we, we don't really like the Guardian very much because they they didn't break into my mother's apartment block, but one of their journalists lied and blagged her way into my mother's apartment block and then had to be removed by the caretaker. So we're not fans of the Guardian. The Guardian have been kissing Harry and Meghan's butt for years, ever since she turned up. But you read The Guardian now about her. I have read a couple of articles which are along the lines of, we're sick of that pair of losers. They are talentless. Nobody likes them. They're indefensible. They're useless. Why don't they just shut up and go away? Have you seen those articles in The Guardian? And I think, whoa, burn. Even their own team is turning against them. In fact, a Guardian article said, Members of Archwell staff are beginning to talk to reporters and say, God, it's a nightmare working for those two. Disorganised, never finish a project. Archie Dollar and Lily Box. Apparently, yeah, I mean, the children. I have no idea if they have children. Honestly, I have no idea. I wouldn't put money on it when, either way. When they prove it, that they have got kids and they show me them and they can prove the birth certificates, then I'll believe it. But, but until that day... The birth certificate of Archie was changed. Why? She, she, her name was removed from it and replaced with the title Duchess of Sussex under where mother is. So surely that means if when she dies and there's another Duchess of Sussex, that's his mother. You know, I mean, how? Well, no, because I just go. Who was Duchess of Sussex at that date? And that, who was there? Look, must have been there. What well, they normally with the palace when they have babies, they you know they they they, they nail. A, thing up to, on the mm. palace gates and the various doctors have signed it to say that they witnessed this birth and so these are like top people in, in their field and it, it's proof it's it's all the proof people need oh it's all witnessed yeah okay well, unless they're all lying you know which is not likely to be and they so that's that's good enough but they didn't have anything like that nobody signed anything they they, they never what baby they never really talk about the children they talked about them a little bit on the netflix thing um, but it was very short. They don't talk about their children. I mean, how old is Archie now? Four or five? He's old enough to, to see TV and understand English. How do you think he would have felt seeing his mummy and daddy on the news? Oh, they were nearly killed in a near catastrophic car chase. And yet it never occurred to them to, to mention, you know, that, would, that was awful for our children. They never came into it. Never comes into it. They, they probably have had kids, and you know they might even be surrogate kids. But you know, some some women can't have babies, and there's nothing wrong with having surrogate if you can afford it. Yeah, having surrogate kids and just put your hand up and say, "Yeah, they were surrogates." Okay, but then they might Fine. they might not be entitled to the title. Well, they won't. I think I think that nullifies their line in the succession. But they're never going to be on the throne anyway. 
Probably not. I mean, what's the Unless odds of that? there's a plane crash, which has been mentioned yeah, by a certain well, person. It is unlucky for the whole family. To try, they've never used to let them in one time. They would never let the air. And is first in line to travel on the same aeroplane in case... I don't think they do now, but William and the children and Catherine do. So, so they fly together. if they all fly together, Queen that's asked. bad. That's really bad. They shouldn't be allowed to do that. Queen asked Because of who they there. are. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, someone was saying, you know, about the seance with Diana. I knew that would um, come up. Hi, Sandra. Um, just, Sandra. She's just the, you know, Which, oh, Sandra Parrot. The, gotcha. There we go. I know if she had legitimate pregnancy, she would have been. Yes, yes. Yeah. It's very strange. And I mean, if they do have children, you're right. We shouldn't even be having this conversation. We've never had it before. Sandra went to the palace, by the way. Yes. I've been watching her videos. Brilliant. She was there at the um, the trooping of the What's It. And she's now been to Edinburgh. And she's been on the Royal Yacht Britannia, which is brilliant. It's a floating museum now. Are you going to be able she's to put all loads. her videos together and put them in um, a video? Well, if you click on it, you can see all the videos there. Oh, they're there. on the but channel? She, yeah, she's put on her channel. She's been around. Um, it's amazing. I've never been on the Royal Yacht Britannia. But she's been on there and she's, she's filmed fantastic loads pictures. of really, really good stuff. It's like I've been there now. Yeah, sort of and, and the um, airplanes and the... Well worth watching the Sandra's Arrow, channel. She got brilliant shots. There. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. She got better shots of Catherine and Camilla and the royal family. And Sky the, News. Than the Daily Mail, actually. <laughs> so go and have a look at Sandra's channel. Sandra Parrott. Nice. Fantastic. Um, yes, the seances... With Diana, I think that's absolutely blown my mind, actually, that it, that someone's come out. That's a very worried friend. Because a few people said, what kind of friend would talk to the press? And I replied and I said, if I was really worried about someone saying weird things like that, um, I don't think it's got much ice in it yet. It takes a little while to get going. If I was really, really worried and it was a high-profile person and I felt they were being taken advantage of like that, I think I would probably have a discreet word with a member of the press to get word out there so that the public know. Because it, it you know, could be enough to, to wake that person up and think people are questioning it. A lot of people are saying that's not right. You shouldn't you shouldn't be listening to your wife saying she's talking to your dead mother. It's very odd that. Very worrying, I think. And I'm glad he's reached out to William, but I hope they don't let him back in. Do you know what I mean? Working royal? No. Absolutely not. But I am glad he's reached out, and I'll bet you it's because his money's running out. Um, I really hope he doesn't win his court case, because it's just going to reinforce his delusions. It's going to make him believe that he's, you know, he's got a, he's got a yeah. case, isn't it? It's going to make him even more intolerable. He's been, they've both been enabled far too much. And that's what happens with narcs, isn't it? We've seen that. That people always make excuses for them and and let them wriggle off. You the hook. don't know the history. And and they become We're worse and worse. The worse. They're Literally. all victims. All victims. <coughs> Been bullied relentlessly. Yes, I know. Isn't it funny how they always accuse their victims of doing to them what they have been doing to their victims? It's extraordinary. Really extraordinary. If they are so hounded, well, well by paparazzi. Why are there no pap shots of the children? Yes. Yes. Never seen them. Anyway. I mean, if there are children. Charlie won't abdicate, trust me. Not a chance. He's waited all these years for his moment, and he's waited longer than anybody in history. Yes. <laughs> And, and, they just, and he's, he's there, he's, he's having his, let him enjoy his moment, you know, because he's... They just don't have royals. European royals do. Yeah, they no, do, yeah. Um, but not ours, not the Windsors. No, they, 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 they stay They die the, on the job, you know. To that's, the end. To the British way, death, you know. Yes. To death, to do, do us part. All they will do is, if you go mad, they... Um, they have a regent. They have a regent. The next in line, the heir to the throne, is the Prince Regent, and they take over the role of the king, but they're not even called the king. They're called Prince Regent, and that hasn't happened since. It's happened two times, hasn't it? Uh, the Robin Hood fella. Uh, <laughs> I can't think of his name now. John. King John. 
I think John was regent, and um, yeah, while well, his brother went off to the crusade, Prince George was regent, wasn't he? And Prinny, George the second, George the third. But that became, was that was there was a huge argument going on for a long time in Parliament over that. Half of Parliament was on Prinny's side, and the other half were on George the third's side. It was a huge fight. Yeah. It wasn't like an easy thing to do. That's not. But he, he built the Brighton Pavilion where Fiona's from. Yeah. And he just wasted, squandered loads of money on it. They were always, they were always Parliament was always throwing the fists in the air going, he's wasting so much money, people are starving around the country, look at what this fool's doing, wasted all his money on this and that, and throwing palaces and things in there. Yeah, he got loads of trouble, didn't he? Oh, there's Squandering been... money and taking drugs and... There's always been controversy. Wine, yeah, women and amateur dramatics and all that, yeah. But uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't an easy thing to do, and anyway, Charles isn't nuts. None of them are, except for Harry. Now, if he Harry was... were to become king... Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, I'd become we a might have... organise. We might have a regency situation. Yes, yes, again. It was a massive mistake bringing the monarchy back. I mean, we had a civil war in England, okay? They got rid of the monarchy, they defeated the king's army, and they chopped the king's head off. That was that. So why, after 15 years of the Lord Protector of England, Carl of the Cromwell... Cromwell was an absolute bastard. Yeah, well, he... he At the end of the day, right, when Cromwell dropped dead, I thought, what are we going to do now? Well, let's bring his son back. Well, I think that was a brilliant idea. See, I've always well, said that's you're what a, happened. I've always said you're a militant. I'm not a militant, but, you know, if you've gone through all that trouble to have a civil war and get rid of the monarchy, why just let him back in? I think it's a rather large, complicated subject you're approaching there. And... The generals who, who fought in the parliamentary army, right, were distinguished and served and, and got medals and things, who signed the king's death warrants. As soon as the new king got on the throne, that was it, mate. You're finished. Arrested. Wallop. Head came off, you know, executed. Oh. And uh, I'm not giving you a history lesson. I'm not going to bore you with a history lesson. But basically, that's what happened. They just gave it back to the king. Oh, you want you to be king again. I don't think I'm near the bottom. It's like, it's like fighting the Second World War, capturing Adolf, and let's put him in prison for 10 years and saying, oh, go on, you can be leader of Germany again. Well, perhaps they felt a constitutional monarchy worked better. And I do believe Charles II's powers were It was a long time limited. ago. Well, it, it weren't that limited. If you could just start arresting everyone who signed his father's death warrant and have them all executed. They don't do but that they didn't do days, anything though. wrong, did they, really? In, in, in the, in the, oh. I love the way when you get an all left wing and militant, your Scouse accent really comes out. And no, yeah. it doesn't. I'm not a commie. <laughs> <laughs> I think you might be. No, yeah, I'm not. This <laughs> is slightly. <laughs> I'm centre left, if anything. The Earl of Sandwich brought Charles II back and restored the monarchy. I didn't know that. There you go, Thank Julie Montague's family. Yes. It's not Julie's fault, though, is it? <laughs> Well, he got, yeah, he, he, no, he got estates and land and money and everything for doing that. That's, how, that's how he got, Mapperton. that's how he became the Earl of Sandwich. I thought he invented something with two pieces of bread and a no, filling. The Romans were baking bread. Yeah, but they didn't think to make it into a sandwich till sandwich came along. Hey, I bet they're kicking themselves now, then, the Romans. Damn, all those years wasted opportunity. Have you ever took sandwiches to the beach? And you got sand in them, and you eat it, and you got sand in your sandwich. <laughs> yes, and a hard, hard boiled egg. Orga Boss Beach in the Isle of Lewis. We've lost yeah. the plot, Fiona. We've lost the plot completely. By the way, chaps, this is our first ever live yes. on Starlink. It's incredible. The roost is just there. You just hold that on the spirit. And uh, so we're coming to you via space. There it is. There's the Starlink router. Yes. On the, the, the dish is out on the on the on the on the roof there, and uh, it's a lot better than it was on yes. the, on the the Wi-Fi we've got here. I'm I'm wondering actually. Um, Streamyard has this sort of bug where it it uh, uh, freezes once in a while, doesn't it? But does that do that while we're watching it now, or does that do that on a playback? I can't remember. Well, it if, if it can't keep up. I tried to do a live today. I was going to bore you all to death with the flight. 
So they're flying along in the plane, right? And I'm doing it all. It's going to show you where Oliver Cromwell lived. And it just kept, it just kept stuttering and stuttering. He couldn't quite keep up. So why Starlink is really good. It's not good enough. I think that's your gaming. For gaming, I obviously need an Ethernet cable for that. I think that's your gaming PC. Um, it's, it's a very old computer for sure. The thing is, I keep going out on the back deck to check the internet. I can't get used to the fact that I can be anywhere on yeah. the boat now. My and phone, I'm still standing on one leg and, and sitting at an awkward angle. My phone angle. works in the bedroom and I keep going, oh yeah, I can do that. I, I can know. do that. I can watch YouTube in the he bedroom. He wanted to lie down and I said, well, why don't, why don't you bring your phone down and watch YouTube? Because you've never been like, able to get oh, any yeah. signal whatsoever downstairs. That's why the Mac's upstairs here in the wheelhouse. It's the only place we can get a signal where I can, I can make a studio now. Well, when Ben is... joins the Navy, as he's applied, I don't know if he get in, but if he, if he gets in, I'm going to turn his room into a studio. Can I just ask you a really quick question? Yeah. Whose sunglasses are those? The Ben's, the old ones. The They're channels. not the Ray-Bans, then, are No, he left them in the house. He left them in the house, in the house on the desk, on the side. I think I put them under his bed. Did you? His girlfriend oh. bought him some really expensive sunglasses and he's lost them. Hundred anyway, pounds. Sorry. Ray -Bans, anyway, yeah. yeah, so anyway, getting back to the royal family. Maggie was born in Everton. Are you a blue Maggie? Oh, I thought you meant Margaret Thatcher for a minute. No, Mag <laughs> Maggie McArdle. Is that, a, is that a Scottish name? McArdle. Everton. So my grandparents a... my grandparents were Scottish. On my mother's side, they live in Waterloo. So she must be a blue. Not necessarily. I mean, really, do some people who live in Everton are they reds? I bet they keep it to themselves. Everton was a little village, and as the city got bigger and bigger, it just got consumed. Right, right. <laughs> so you got all these little villages all become part of the big city. So yeah, Everton. They've got a very famous football team, Everton. Right, Flower Garden. Is it really true he's reached out to William? Oh, I'll click one corner. Who knows? Who knows? I have no idea. No one tells me anything. You know, they never phone me up and keep me keep me up to date. Oh, my ex-husband's name. Was it a Scottish name, though, Maggie? I, I just wondered. Irish, Scottish descent. Because all Scousers, we've got, we've got, we've got blood from everywhere, haven't we? Because we're all immigrants. <laughs> That's where I get the crazy side. My, my, my granny was a Fraser. My granddad was a Harrison, and they were all both born in Waterloo. But their parents came from Scotland in the Victorian days when they had the clearances. They were throwing everyone out because they were wanting to breed sheep. So they, they knocked all the farms down, burned. Like William Wallace, they set fire to everyone's roof and told them to do one. And they did. They went to Glasgow, and then they moved to Liverpool. So ah, for my, my mother's side of the family, are Scottish, from Inverness originally. Father's side are from Lancashire, obviously, from Liverpool, Pesketh. Right, are they? She's not on the situation. Uh, where? No, he was a Londoner. One was a Foley. Oh, okay. Well, uh, yes, I, I, well, I think there is some an element of that in it. If he has, if it's true he's reached out, yes, he'll want good publicity. Uh, or he wants back in the fold, you know, and basically I think an underlying current would be money. It's going to be the money, isn't it? Okay. I was going to get a kilt. Fiona wouldn't let me. She said, They're don't you so dare. expensive. Where are you ever going to wear a kilt, for goodness sake? I want to go to the mess. Well, the thing is, um, Harry said it in court, didn't he, about Burrell? He said derogatory things about, and I, I don't think you can sue somebody for what they say in court. Um, I don't know if he said it. He might have said it in his book, actually. I don't know, because I, I didn't read the first half. I just went straight to where Megan came in and read it from there. I just couldn't be bothered to read the rest of it, but I, I will have a look at some point. Um, Toxteth baby, the nail wood. Oh, Sandra Nelson says she's been worried about us with whales attacking. Well, they don't come into our area, really. Very, very rarely do the Yorker come into our area. And it's yachts they're attacking, sailing yachts, little ones. Uh, they're not attacking the no, bigger boats. No. You're safe there, Ian. Your boat's safe. Don't worry. You only attack yachts. It's not Ian who said that. It was, um, no, I was just looking at Ian. Oh, right, right. From Toxter, they, I was born in Oxford Street Maternity Hospital between the two cathedrals. Proper scouser, mate. 
Are the sugars starting to turn against Harry? Because that is an interesting development, isn't it? I think we all know divorce is on the card, so that's, you know, He that's won't happening. divorce her. He's in love. He's head over heels. Hi, love. Elaine. The, did you know, Elaine, you're the only person I can't like or love your comments for some reason. I don't know why. It just comes up and says, error. And I can't reply to any of your comments ever. You're the only one. I just wanted to mention that. It's so you probably didn't... your settings, Elaine. You must have something in your settings that, uh, I don't know, security, privacy settings, I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted to let you know in case you wondered. She's not know, ignoring you. Why Why I never like or laugh. I have tried. Um, Harry and Meghan cannot be trusted. He will be not. Well, yeah, you see, that's another thing to consider. Imagine Harry says to the family, we're divorcing, right? I want to come back and they let him back in and then all along he's actually still been with Megan and then he brings her back. That's something to consider, isn't it? This is Spanish Guinness, okay? Negra. That's that's the Spanish word for all black. Right, don't you'll get Christopher Boozy excited. Oh, that's, that's, that's just a fact. It's all right. Black beer. Uh, the majority of people didn't want to give up on the monarchy with concessions. Yes, yes, exactly, exactly. Take no notice of my husband. Never take medical, financial, or um, well, any advice from him at all. Trust me. Um, got a load of crap. Fly work. planes. Yes. <laughs> if you ever need so... a pilot, because the pilot's dead, I'm your man. <laughs> well, think? yeah, yes, Carol. I'm wondering if, if you know, that could be done. That he comes back without her, and then later on says. Or we've kissed and made up, Megan's coming back. And I bet the whole royal family would be like, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I wouldn't mind guessing he's got somewhere in the UK anyway. I bet he's got some little bolt hole in the cops' vault. He'll have, he'll have places all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. Actually. Daddy would have said, oh, hello, there's a little castle you can have. And he goes, I don't want that one. William's got a bigger one. I, saw, I want William's castle. I saw that Rain's place was for sale. I can't remember if it's on the Isle of why it's somewhere on the south coast rain was diana's uh stepmother did you see it it's really quite nice that was on on the market a year or two back very very nice place sea view private beach it's not particularly big or ostentatious but uh i did wonder if harry might have bought that it was going quite cheap as well for what it was um ask a taxi driver in the local vicinity because they know everything I'll tell you, tell you something I've noticed about Harry and Meghan here in Spain. It used to be it didn't matter which one of their names I searched. I got exactly the same news articles. But now when I search their names individually, I get very different publications, different stories and a different PR angle. So I think the Royal Grift may well be right that there could be some what do they call it when, when they're doing PR against each other? Um, like a campaign. When they have it, like when Charles and Diana did it, they called it the War of the Whales. Oh, the they camps, were, different camps. Like if Harry and Meghan are briefing against each other. Oh, right. Each camp is briefing Cut against each other. So yes, I have noticed, if I search Prince Harry here in Spain, I get a lot about his court cases and the things he's into. I don't get so much about her. If I search her, I get the things she's into. It's like the media are treating them very much as if they are divorced. Then this says Belvedere. Well, I think that's a little too close, isn't it? It's oh. really cool. For, yeah, it's in Windsor Great Park, isn't it? South of Windsor Castle. It's a um, really cool place. It is, but it's worth the Harry. David, David, David liked it. Yeah, he could, he could you know, mince across the floors. Yours were sagging in the around. 30s, though, you know, so I think it needs a bit of... Oh, Carol says, Carol, if Carol. divorce, mm. if divorce is coming, they're awfully quiet about each other. Yeah, they haven't. Yeah, but Lady C did point out that quite often when people are breaking up, she said she did it with her husband. They agreed to live together until they, you know, tied up loose ends and stuff like that. It suited them both to negotiate away from the spotlight before announcing. Megan will want to keep the uh, the paths in Montecito. Once I don't think she wants divorce. I think she'd much rather be a merry widow. There, I, said I think it. she just wants all the money. She'd get to keep the titles, get an ordinate sympathy. Well, she wouldn't get sympathy because there'd be a lot of us out here saying, what? do you think Doria has been helping Harry with his drug needs? Uh, you, well, yeah, I think that's been said that 
they took him off his normal medication and he's on herbal stuff that Doria makes up for him, whatever that means. And I was really shocked as well. And I think it pretty sure this is in this book. He said he uses hallucinogenics. Um, he used to use, he said he used to use them for recreational purposes, but that he's now learned he can use them for therapy. And he says when he's on hallucinogenics, it creates another very real and beautiful world that is as beautiful as this world. So he can see two different worlds and two different realities. And he think that, thinks that's a good thing. Why will Harry get $8 million when he turns 40? Oh, well, Princess Anne's got to, um, th th there's money owing from some of the wills in his probate estate. <sighs> But they said that he couldn't... Piffling cut. eight million? What is he supposed to do with that? Well, yeah, I can imagine him saying that. I mean, hmm. don't forget, on Oprah, he said, we only had my mother's 33 million. I mean, without that, we can just about get by on that. I mean, it's... A lot of my friends are fabulous. You really I'm a pauper compared to them. He's uh, he's not really with it, is he? Not at all. Especially not if he's using... And he needs to go to California and look at all those people living in tents on the sidewalk and think, oh, right. Good question, money away. Do you think moving to the Riven Rock estate with its history was a factor with Megan choosing it to live? Yes. I wonder. I wonder. He would we have known talking. nothing about that. He was well, we, we didn't know anything, but we were talking about that the other morning, weren't we? We were. If it was such big news at the time, the big sort of cust kind of custody case over Stanley, that it knocked the Wall Street crash off the front pages... Mm -hmm. then it would be something that I would imagine Americans and specifically Californians, people from Chicago, would know and remember. So, I, and as Megan is from California, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if she knew about, she obviously wanted to move to Montecito for some reason, maybe because Oprah lives there and Ellen and other people. But why that particular property? Yes, and I do, I suspect, I mean, it's only my suspicion that she knew exactly who uh, Catherine and Stanley were, and about the property. I do wonder. I do wonder. It's like watching one of those awful movies, isn't it, where no one can see what the bad guy's up to, and you're screaming at the telly trying to warn him. He's behind you. Hello, you two punks. And chat, I thought, and... Spunks. We need to keep those traditions as one by one. They're being stripped of them. Yes, yes. I'm a great believer when in Rome, and I see that happening with most countries. Can you imagine going to, for example, I don't know, Jordan and telling them and the people there they've got to change all their ways. But I see it happen to Britain a lot. Britain's the one that has to um, embrace everybody else's cultures and then a step further, delete their own. Just delete their own. Clean mother's money. Yes. Um, they she was worth a few, Bob. I think they said the Queen... The Queen herself didn't leave him a penny. <laughs> Anne, yeah. She's one of my favourite well, royals, Anne. Actually, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if Prince Philip didn't leave him a penny after Prince Philip gave him the purdy guns and Meghan said sell them and he sold them. I mean, they were family heirlooms of Philip's, I believe, from his, his own um, blood you know, royal family from Greece. I think they bought them back, didn't they? I think and whoever William, bought them at the auction made a fortune. I think William got them I back. think uh, someone bought them back. Uh, William bought Diana's letters uh, that she'd written to Hewitt or something. He bought oh, them. Yeah. Wouldn't surprise me if they bought them. But if if you gave something, a precious family heirloom to someone and they just sold it, you wouldn't really be inclined to include them in your will, would you? I wouldn't have thought. Uh, I think some places have spiritual connections. And it may be that Megan opened a door. Yes, or I mean, just, just the thought of it. I mean... Hang on, this is a weird one. What's that? Hi, Imogen. They're starting to go after Catholic people in the year. Why? What's wrong with Catholic people? Oh, dear. Um, pink. I mean, I'm not a Catholic myself, but I mean, uh, I've got no problem with Catholics. What's what's I, I, I was raised Roman Catholic, but now I'm 16 or Christian. It's down to the individual, isn't it? What you want to what, 
why are they going after Catholics? This is that, that's a very disturbing statement. Uh, Hi, Imogen. How are you doing? Oh, we've got someone who's called Rain. Uh, Megan, being the feminist that she is, wouldn't want to inherit his family's money since she's not entitled to it. Can't stand on her own to get yeah, yeah. For a woman of power, she sure does uh, lean on uh, her connections, her marriages, the men in her life, doesn't she? Goodness me. Well, you should start your channel alone. Look at how many people following me, and I don't yeah. even have a channel. Yeah. Maybe that uh, yeah, there must be curiosity there because they can't like or, or love any of your comments, and you you leave brilliant comments. Do you think M still lives in? No. Do you know two uh -huh. different people, and I can't remember who they were, so I won't name them. Uh, emailed me to say they live near there and they have been there. They've walked past, and it looks run down and derelict. And the gar you know, the gardens. Anybody ever seen grey gardens? You know, the two Eds. Oh yeah. Wouldn't it be funny if the mansion turned up like turned in that? Oh my goodness! Oh, what a lovely head of hair! Oh, don't don't be mean. It wasn't her fault. They had a huge following, the two EDs, a big fan base. I love them. I'm, I'm fascinated. I'd love to see the film with um, what's her name? Um, I can't think of the woman's name. <laughs> Daniel Boland's always taking the piss out. That's how right? Megan will finish up in Monty Cito, wouldn't it? If Ali does one, she'll finish the whole house will start falling down. She might end up like Miss Havisham. Pissing everywhere and she'll be in there like that eating cat food. And yes, refusing sure to give up the mansion. I'm the Duchess of Sussex. What's the what's Drew Barrymore? <laughs> Drew Barrymore. Played played the younger Evie. Little Evie. And um Jessica. Oh, I can't think of a name. They had this house in the Hamptons, which is dead posh area of New York. They were Jackie and Kennedy's aunt the, and cousin. The husband had enough one day, and he said, that's it, I'm off. And they stayed in the house, the big mansion, and we just, we just skinned. And uh, all, all overgrown and cats pissing everywhere, and, and the roof was falling down. And, and they were still living in the mansion. Grey Gardens, was it? Grey, Grey Gardens, Gardens yeah. yes, yes. Uh, language of horses, you shouldn't be. If you can see through Megan, that means he gave you the gift of sight. Well, I mean, I think she's actually quite uh, transparent in her, you know, ambitions and stuff. Uh, yes, in, it does feel as if Britain has to bow to everything. Can you imagine if we went to any of the um, the countries that are very, very strict and started bolshing it about as immigrants there telling them what not only that they're going to do things our way um but yeah, that they're going to get rid of their traditions and their history they no, wouldn't no, like it we're immigrants me and yes. fiona living in spain and right? we respect spanish, spanish and culture we don't even speak enough spanish we're, well she speaks better spanish than me we speak enough to get by but we can't have a proper conversation in in-depth intellectual conversation in spanish um I speak Spanish at a retard level. <laughs> but it wouldn't be right, would it, to go marching around going, you, you, you're not doing it right. This is how we do it in Britain. This is this is how we bring out. Like, you can't do it. you just got to just shut the fuck up and accept their culture if you're living in their country. Don't go laying the law down. Oh, you're doing it all wrong. I, I don't know if there's been any news. I shall just have a quick look. Because like I say, I have to search the two different names to see if there has been anything. Today just really seems Home in Scobie's having a go at the royal family, very much so. Um, a parachute wedding I quite liked their wedding dress, actually. Did you? I thought it was all right. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't, wouldn't have been... You see, I'm a, I could have designed a much better dress, but, you know... I thought it was very, very white. It's very plain. For a, for a divorce. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad, actually. It's probably the least offensive thing I've seen. Away. I didn't think it was a bit too virginal, though. Eh? Oh, right. Page six. Yes, something's just come out. And, you know, page six don't like them very much anymore. Prince Harry plans Netflix doc on Africa without Meghan Markle. They've split up, then, haven't they? I don't know. That's what it says to me. I, I never go anywhere without her. Oh, they said that I love I the way they're fun to Yeah, but... Cole, they say, despite questions over the future of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's hundred million Netflix deal, the renegade royal is planning a new doc. We're told, they add quite sarcastically. Who's told you that, page six? Um, 
They've got to come up with winning content for Netflix. Um, Chunk's picky on the Catholics. Harry's potential African journey will inevitably be seen following in the footsteps of his mother, Princess Diana. Of course. Did you know she died in a car crash? She was his mother. Was she? Really? Oh, yeah. I'll buy his book. She was his mother. Um, and I love Princess Diana, but I mean, Harry, give it a rest, man. And what Please. happened to Madonna? I saw something. She's ill. She's got... She's got bacterial sepsis, infections. I think. Oh, God, has she? That's what they said Shit. in one of the papers. I, I mean, that, that's a serious bacterial infection. <laughs> you have to look it up. Don't <laughs> take any advice from Dr. Graham, because he doesn't know what he's talking about. Well... Page six. It's not yet known what the documentary will be about. It's just going to be hairy in Africa. Somewhere hairy in Africa. Wow. So they don't know what it's going to be about. Um, Dressed on anyone else would have been nice. A source said, Meow. Obviously, <laughs> Harry has a lot of roots in Africa and he feels at home there. Well, maybe he'd like to move there. Um, oh, he probably would. You see, you, you, you can't. Hold it against Harry because he was born, wasn't he? He was born a prince into the royal family, so everyone's sort of interested in him. And he can't help it. He was that's where he was born. That was where he grew up, and that was the that was his surroundings, you know. So, what would you really expect from him? I mean, you've got to be really rich to go to Africa. I looked into it, and it's just oh, it's still expensive. It's yeah. really out of our reach. In fact. Ben's girlfriend was saying she went, where did she go? Uganda. She was saying yesterday, didn't she? And we were like, you went to Uganda? Well, you must be really rich. How, you did, to you done how did you get there? And she's just like, my mum and dad took me. Uh, you know, very uh, matter of fact. And I just thought, wow, I, I, the closest I've been to Africa is Ceuta, which is Spanish. I mean, to go to somewhere equatorial yeah. or Kenya or South Africa, I just couldn't afford it. I've been on flights then. It's been everywhere. Yes. yes. Right. <laughs> well, it's my daughter went to Heraklion today, which yes. is in uh, Crete. Me and Fiona went to Heraklion for a holiday for a week when we were in Holland. And uh, 2000. I bet we saw more of Crete than she did because she was just stayed in the plane, hoovering <laughs> the floor, getting ready for the next people to go back to Gatwick. <laughs> it's all these exotic <laughs> places and in the inside of the airport. He feels so so comfortable in Africa. Well, he's going to feel comfortable wherever he goes, isn't he? Because he's a multi-millionaire and he gets, he's treated like royalty because he's royalty, isn't and he's he? he's got a lot of servants to sort of wipe his ass for him. <laughs> it's a big continent, VJJ. It's a big... I'm sure there are places in the middle of nowhere where he doesn't have to bother anybody. He won't even put his own tent up, will he? And his yeah. tents will be a big marquee. I mean, it, that to me sounds like... The if at one end. If they started to say things like that, that to me screams divorce, don't you think? That's him saying, I want to go to Africa and heal. I want to... That's his go-to place, isn't it, when he's, uh, well, he's in the shit. it's a subjective opinion, isn't it? I mean, you, you don't know anything. We don't know no, any, I don't. any more than you do. But that's my instinct. Yeah. I would never go anywhere. I wouldn't say, I'm going to Africa. I'm not taking Fiona. I just wouldn't that. You know what? I even go to the shops with her normally. You know, we just we just go everywhere. We just sort of joined at the hip. We don't go anywhere really very much mm. without each other. And wouldn't dream of going away for a week. Yeah. yeah. The only time me and her have been split up is when she's oh. been in prison. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. One of us had to go to the UK. I oh, think. when your mother was ill. That's right. I had to. I yeah, had to yeah. And I was UK. working, but that was that, twice in, in twenty that was years. Only a week, though, I think. Twice in twenty years. But yeah, I mean that that is odd. I mean, they all. She always said she loved Africa, and I think we all know that was a lie. That was a lie, wasn't it? Because she loved Africa so much. Well, they've hardly been there, have they? They've been in Hollywood. I don't She'll think she'll never go to Africa. No. She went. Mean? She went and did all those little documentaries, digging wells and things, and helping black people. She in, in the yeah. big forced to build mud huts and things. That was to get Harry on side. Oh, you you like you like African people like me. I'm into African people and helping them out and digging wells and irrigating the fields and things. And she, oh, me too, Harry. I love you. Why don't you get married to me? You know, and it worked. It worked. He fell for. He fell straight in, didn't he? Hook, line, and sinker. Yes, he certainly did. Well, she ain't yes. going back to Africa anytime soon, is she? Oh my God. Uh, 
the building set fire arse he could have been killed if he'd been there we've been talking about what hi john we've been talking about whether um harry really has reached out to william or not because if he has more money that's the only thing he'd be reaching out for. It might be more money, or it might be, you know, get me out of here. I'm a prince. Get me out of here now. It'd be quite funny to see it's him not on cheap a having a cocaine habit, you know. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Got to be rich to afford that, haven't you? <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly, Melissa. You would. You would feel, you know, that's there's something funny going on, isn't there? It's like when people say, I need space. <laughs> Uh, a, um. Yes, I I really do hope he's waking up. I really do. <laughs> no, <laughs> very good. I wouldn't believe a word. I mean, the the thing is, none of us know who the sources are, who the insiders are. So it's very hard to judge, isn't it? I think. Each of us just have to watch their body language and and compare notes and think, you know, does that even make sense? Could could that rumor be true? Could that rumor be true? That's the best we can do, really, isn't it? And on the whole, I think we as a community on all the YouTube channels do a lot better than the media, that's for sure, and the official royal experts. I think we do a lot better because there's so much sort of yeah, there's a lot yeah, of women's yeah, yeah, yeah. intuition going on here. Absolutely, isn't there? absolutely, a lot. And all of you have got life experience, and that comes into play. And when you see things on the news, you can go, that's bollocks. I'll tell yeah. you what I think. I think this. Yeah. And someone else goes, yeah. Yeah, you could be right. And then before you know what happens, you know, we, we've figured it all out. we put all the pieces together. Say, bullshit, not let's swallow any more of your spin. We know what's happened. Perfect. Absolutely brilliant. I said to Fiona, she should get like a, do a live and have two guests on. Just random people. I'm just like um like a mother's meeting and just just talk about stuff they, yeah there used to be a tv show that's what in, in tv the UK shows called yeah. coffee morning wasn't there and they had like a, loose women well they've got loose women but that's it's a very short show it doesn't go on very long so but they that, never that, get into anything but coffee morning my mum used to watch that i remember when i was little coffee morning yes i'm surprised she hasn't to africa to discover her roots very well put samantha exactly precisely why hasn't Megan been to Africa to retrace her roots? Wouldn't that have been the obvious thing to do? Has anyone in those stages no seems to have changed shape? Uh, that's probably from Megan hitting him, I think. Um, last night it was reported the royal family had him and he was in hospital. Ah, right. I've where did you, these sorts where of did rumors, you hear that, I, I, was? was it on YouTube, a particular YouTuber or... Um, I heard about a week ago he'd been taken into hospital, but I don't know. You, know, you just can't get anything. Imagine Meghan or Harry on I'm a Celebrity, get me out. Uh, it wouldn't do as well I'll as... Tell you uh, what, we watched a reality show years ago with James Hewitt in it. Yeah, and he, was, he won, he won. He, he, came, did. he, he, came top he actually came across as incredibly charming. I, I can see what Diana saw in him, definitely. Do you think the palace are keeping an eye on Harry from California? Yeah, I think that... Um, well, Without I hope, a doubt. Well, they're, they're powerless to act. How are you feeling, Ray? I'm all right, yeah. Teresa thanks, Rizzo. Teresa. Yeah, I'm feeling good, thanks. I've, uh, I've still got issues, but um, they're being dealt with. So. Champagne Property Investments. I love that username. I suspect H is already safely ensconced in Africa. I wonder. Yes, I wonder. I hope so, because I would hate to see him die. I don't want to see anybody with. die, no. but I think for William, I think that that did William's head in to have lost his mother like that and then to lose his baby brother and the Spencers, how they would feel and Charles and, and the whole family. I think that that they just couldn't take that. So I really, really pray that he loses his court cases and they yeah, gets yeah, yeah. out of there and he goes but somewhere quiet. The thing is, my brother got married. Well, you didn't get married. Oh, he, dear. He was, we're not going to talk about that, are we? He was with a woman who, who we didn't like. <laughs> and uh, Basically, we couldn't go to his house or visit him or anything, you know, for years and years until he, he uh, finished with her and had an amicable separation and then everything's back to normal again now. But, I mean, that's, that's, that's the situation that Harry's in at the moment, isn't it? 
you can't say to someone you don't like your wife she's horrible because they won't listen they, would, they just don't want to hear it do they they might be helplessly in love and they're, they're not going to hear it like if you told me fiona was horrible and she's bad for me like i wouldn't hear it I wouldn't hear a word even if you were telling the truth which hypothetical it's a stupid I'm not scenario sure that, but that's that's what i'm saying i don't think we ever said anything. you can't get involved in people's relationships Graham, we never said anything i'm sure we didn't we just didn't really keep in touch that much until people yeah. phoned us up and said she's gone and then we went woohoo <laughs> <laughs> <You're not always laughs> the wicked witch is dead yeah. oh dear yes anyway yes uh well i think yes don't you worry about that marie i i think he's um if he goes back to them, I think there's going to be enormous conditions and they will be financially tied up. Because as someone earlier said, he doesn't really have boundaries. So the only way they're going to get him to understand and accept boundaries is financially speaking, you know, stick and carrot. The Witches of Montezuma. That actually makes a really good. There was a film that was like that. The Witches of Eastwick, wasn't there? They were yeah, um, yeah. three sort of very glamorous and they they lived somewhere a bit like montecito didn't they yes yeah i think so no no i mean i hear all sorts of things coming out of montecito and, and their neighbors and stuff i've heard rumors before um they don't sound that popular Yes, yes, the best ones are on YouTube. There are I some mean, brilliant people yeah. on YouTube, really, really good. And they, 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 they can figure things out. And you've only got to watch them a bit, and you go, oh, yes. And then you think of something, and you think, it's brilliant. It's br I, I love YouTube. I, I don't even watch television anymore. I do. I don't. Harriet, Harriet. Hi, Harriet. Harriet. Hi, Harriet. Did you see Sir Trevor Phillips? Yes. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And as I was saying earlier, even the Guardian newspaper, even the Independent that have stuck up for Team Harry and Meghan all along, they're sick of them. They are sick of them. He's too much pussy whipped. Lucky Harry. <laughs> See? Oh, I know. All this communicating with Diana. That's crazy talk, isn't it? That is crazy. Yeah, please hit the like, guys. Please hit the like button if you like it, because it makes the algorithm okay now more better any reason particularly you're feeling september i'll tell you what's worrying me is the anniversary of diana's death i'm kind of dreading that in case something happens to harry around that time last that's, weekend in august wasn't it yeah that's that's um uh cause we had the air show it was on a saturday it did, night yeah. wasn't it, it was the i think it was the 29th of august was or 31st or so it was the very very end of august I can't remember. she was um, the same age as me yeah so uh i worry about that well yeah i mean if there are kids can you imagine how they're gonna grow up they're gonna it's it's gonna be um yes darling <laughs> it's a flat spot yes bookworm murky taz wally um ashley they they all had very interesting and very different points of view Murky was always really good at research, really, really good. I mean, she would even book a book, like a Zoom thing, to be at a court appearance so she could then tell us all exactly what had been said at the court appearance. Mm. And, I, and I mean, it's obvious. That's why Christopher Boozy had obviously been given the remit, close those three YouTubers down, and more and more and more people sprung up. And the Royal Griff today yeah, as yeah. well had gone through frame by frame the bit where they were doing the tweet the tweets on the netflix thing and she said the only name that was left visible was the duchess of nar sussex that was the only one yeah we picked Which, it out didn't we we saw the that royal, when we were watching yeah, it on netflix to the royal griff she sent her a message and, made, and said look look at this um that's megan saying i know who you are and i yeah. bet you it's because they hate her going Harry and Megan. <laughs> I love her. Makes, I think she's brilliant. Always makes me laugh when she does that. Uh, so <laughs> yes, maybe maybe Megan could become a tarot card reader if she can um, speak to the um, dead people, you know, so effectively. Go away, Harry. Linda, I'm going to talk. This I'm Saturday. going to talk to your mother. Leave me alone on the yeah. island and lay on her grave. 
yes. do something weird. It's so it's um <laughs> no kids. Too many YouTubers cancel for not agreeing with the Harkles. Well, I mean they've eased up considerably. Um and it's as if their magical powers have shrunk. They're paying I, people. I reckon they were paying people at YouTube. Yes. To cancel people. And how much money can you throw at a problem that's growing? Yeah. Remember Jason and the Argonauts? And a skeleton popped up out of the ground and he, he chopped it with his sword and all the bones scattered. And then the, the bones turned into like seven more skeletons and he went, yeah. and every time he chopped one, it multiplied and you think, whoa. It's like that. So how much money can you throw at each skeleton and you think, uh, this isn't working. This is going to cost a lot of money. So we've got to back off at some point. I hope all the, U I hope all the YouTube people we can send people get caught. I think they probably have been. Um, I mean, you guys must remember that there was a rumour there was a price on Wally's head of $40,000. And people's houses got burnt down. I like, even wrote to Alphabet. Was Ashley's, a house burnt down. I sent a whistleblowing letter to Alphabet. They never replied, but I'm certain they received it because they, they signed oh, for it. You know, I tracked yeah, it. Yeah. Someone signed for it. Um, saying, is it not inconceivable that you have members of staff who are being receiving huge amounts of money bribes in order to delete YouTubers, not just for Megan, for generally, you know, anybody, um, or demonetize YouTubers. And so it's gone from, you know, Wally, they were savage. She was off. We just could not get her back on. Trevor demonetized, still is. Um, That's bad. He should be powers, back on. He should be back on. Their powers to me seem to be becoming less and less and less. It's like the people that accept the bribes at YouTube are now not willing to delete channels, demonetize, do anything too drastic in case a manager has a look. And it's a bit like that Superman film, isn't it? When the baddie said, someone's been embezzling money from the company. And he looked out of the window to the car park and there's Richard Pryor screeching up in a red Ferrari. And he goes, who's that guy? And they said, he works for you in accounts. And he went, bring him Does to he? me now. And he's got a Ferrari. <laughs> I want a word with him. It's like that, isn't it? So maybe the powers at Alphabet have looked at a few of these people who work there and said to their managers, you know, how well are they doing financially? Well, they did a Patreon video yesterday. Did she? Can anybody tell me which of the two channels it is? Because there are two channels and we're still trying to figure out how to sign up to it. We're not Someone, very tech asking, savvy, are we? someone else emailed and asked and offered to give Wally their YouTube channel. Um, so... I It'll promise. just get taken down. We've done it before. We've, we've, we've... Maybe, maybe not. You know, as I say, their power's become reduced. I would love to see her back on YouTube. So would I. It's just so unjust. And I know it will be a big fall for Boozy and all those cronies when the day comes. It will. Yankee Wally was very good. Yes. Trevor's very good, yeah. Trevor has a new channel. Does he? Um... I watch his normal channel. I don't know if he's got. He, he, yeah, he did. He started a new channel. Let me did they did anything with it because they they they, they demonetised that as well. I didn't know they docked Duchess of Narcissus. Huh? I know they did it to Sue Smith. Um, I mean, they're just. It, it is all going to come out, guys. It is all going to come out. I wonder if William has some influence here on YouTube. I wonder. Um, Rosie's cottage. Oh, Ashley. Ashley, yes, yeah. that it was really bad. I mean, her dog, that was... her dog ran off, and she never found it. And her pet possum was burned alive. Oh. I mean, if I was a cop and I was looking at that case, you know, I'd be asking some serious, the awkward yeah. questions, yeah. like Colombo. Uh, a few things bothering yeah. me here. Yeah. There's a lot that bother all of us about um, Megan and her followers. Something. Ellen Walker, there you go, Diana's birthday. Her, right, the channel is the one where she's wearing her glasses for uni. Right, brilliant. I, after this live, I'm off to sign up. I'm going to figure out this blooming Patreon, and then I can do a whole video on how you, how you do it on Patreon, how it's all going to work. So we've got Starlink now as well. That's the other thing. Before we have the Starlink, being on the boat, our Wi-Fi is just so diabolical. Was appalling. But now, it's... Now we've got a normal internet connection like most people you know it's probably maybe a little bit better but time will tell it's working fine at the moment oh. that's terrible edward that's terrible that she felt like that 
And she died. Sue me, yes. Yes, I remember actually, going actually on. She died. She did. She died of uh, cancer, I think, last August. Shannon said she was talking to her solicitors. Excellent. Shannon, Shannon will eat them alive. Shannon Lester is my kind of girl. Uh, I love her. She's yes, funny. I heard. Nigel Farage, apparently. Someone sold his data on the dark web and it, his bank's closed all his bank accounts. You know, and he's because someone's been impersonating him in the bank, have the right to do that. And they, you know, he said, but it wasn't me, it was someone impersonating me. Black Belt Barrister was going about it. It's terrible. I mean, that, they just cut your life off. Can you guys see our cashless society? It won't work. It, it's got to work. I mean, it's, it's all right in theory. No problem. But you know for a fact, you know, you go to the cash point, put your card in, it won't give you any money. You try to pay for something in the shop, it won't. And you've got money in the bank. Oh, oh, you've reached your limit for this month or something. You know, whatever it is. It's got to work 100% of the time. Otherwise, it's not fit for purpose, isn't it? I mean, you can pull money out and say, there you go. What a thank you. Where's Sorry. the piece of plastic yes, worthless? Yes, hippie. Uh, her name is Paula M. And I, I think that's the name of the channel. Yes. Hi, Leslie. Mm, I suspect yeah, a victim of the sugars or some sort of crazy fan. Yes, all his bank accounts have been closed. I mean, I'm not a fan of Nigel's, but that's terrible. If, if so, I mean, how can his life function? Ozzy walks, beach, Starlink, question. That's okay. Starlink. I wish I could afford Starlink here in Australia. $40. That's about 70 quid, isn't it? Yeah, it's about the same. We pay on the house, we pay 90 to 100 euros a month. Yeah. And we can have up to 15 devices. Um, and here in the marina, the Wi Fi is free. That's all included, but it's really rubbish. Well, we so, are, to be fair, we are on really wet right on the end of the pontoon. We're the furthest away from the, from the transmitter. Yeah. So if we moved nearer, perhaps it would be better, but we like it on the end where we are. But this year, Graham, I mean, we've resisted before 60 euros a month for the Starlink. But um, Graham said this year, if we're on the boat, I just want decent internet. I, he put his yeah. foot down, and I don't blame him. We did a live. We did a live a few weeks ago on the on the Marina Wi-Fi, and it was working quite well. And then it just went, just cut off. That was it. I really hope so, Laura. I really hope she will be coming back. I'll be, I'll be going to watch her videos. And Wally, it was Wally you mean? Wally, yeah. She's a star. She's brilliant. She She's really, really good at what she does. Wow. And she's really entertaining. Ah, right now. So his account, his family's accounts have been closed too. Now that's one thing I will say about Nigel Farage. As far as his politics goes, he and I couldn't be on a further spectrum. But I've seen his children bullied and his family bullied. That's not right. That is not on at all. And for the bank to close his accounts, and I do wonder, I wonder if there's political motivation. And that, and that is wrong. And I say that as one of his critics. That is very, very, very wrong. No, we believe in free speech. You know, Nigel, even if you don't agree with him, you know, he's got the right to I tell his you, opinions. What I've, sure. always, what I've always found so made me angry about Nigel is he's just so bloody good at speaking. You know, and our team were never as good at putting the message across. Nigel's got a very good way with him. He's, he's very clear. He gets to the point. He doesn't yeah. talk nonsense, you know, in gobbledygook. And uh, that's what frustrated me as an opponent, a political opponent. He's... He's really good. He is good. Well, I have actually seen River sort of coming around to the idea once or twice, saying, you know. <laughs> um, isn't that amazing, that guy calling them a pair of fucking grifters? <laughs> and the Guardian actually quoted him verbatim in an exclamation mark. Fuck, they didn't even put stars in the word, they just put fucking grifters. And the author in the Guardian, and as I say, the Guardian have always supported them, was like, yeah, they're a pair of wasted spacers. They really are. Talentless. Don't deserve the money. Nigel will come out fighting. Yes, I, well, I hope so. But, but the thing is, all the time his bank is closed, that is going to be called, is causing him inordinate headache. I know, because we've had problems like that. You know, we're technical Yeah, but issue. he's got to go down to the bank with your passport. You know, well, look. he can't pay his bills. So, you this know, he, he may get people cutting his Fixed. telephone off and things yeah, like that. Yeah, and it, yeah, it's yeah. going to create a lot of stress for him. Well, people can and people do. They cause stress and cause problems for people. And it's, it's wrong. It's bad. Yes. 
how do some YouTubers get cancelled and others say horrible things and make murderous threats, but nothing happens to them? Well, I'm not sure I've heard any. Um, are you talking about the, the Sugars, the Sausage Squad? Because I don't really watch any of their channels. There, there was a girl called Anne and another one called Baron that I listened to once or twice. Um, it could be. It could be. Um, BLR. It could be. Or the birds she address. <laughs> I mean, come on, she's rich. There's no excuse for wearing crappy clothes when you're rich, is there? None. I mean, yes, yeah, Real Housewives. That's another one. She uh, could look a million dollars if she wanted to, and she just doesn't. It's almost like she does it on purpose to see how much she can get away with, isn't it? It's not just Jenna. She is very of mean. She puts. I think I'm interfering in a private conversation. Have we heard anything re really Fairbridge Society? No, I've never heard of it. What new hell is this? <laughs> this is something we need to be paying attention to. Yes, the Guardian articles. I mean, I don't know. You, you guys in America tell me, is the Wall Street Journal normally team Meghan and Harry or against them? I always kind of thought it was for them. But they did a really burning ouchie, 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 ouchie. Are they into the stock market? Mm, I don't know. I'm asking I would have thought. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't need it. I would have thought so. All right, darling. Always, oh, please, always. <laughs> Thank you. That is lovely. Um, One of the best things we ever bought, this ice maker. <laughs> I'm reading that fine now. Right, it's a financial paper, but is it, because they do do articles on Harry and Meghan, is it, um, is it like in favour of wokey stuff or against, because someone sent me an email link with an article in it and it was roasting harry and megan really badly way worse than the daily yeah. mail or the express have ever dared to and i would also say that the guardian the two articles i saw were vicious way more vicious than anything that the daily mail or the express have ever written or the mirror so it's kind of interesting. I wonder how Harry and Me um, did everybody see the article that said Harry and Meghan are sick of the criticism. They're just taking blow after blow after blow. They're fed up with it all. Champagne property investments. I used to know Nigel moderately well. Back in the UK days, he's a real man of principle, a man of his word. I often think when I look at people, um, I would I would I be all right if I was stuck in a lift with them for a couple of hours? I don't think it'd be all right with Nigel. I think we would stay off the subjects of politics, but you know, he's the kind of guy I probably could have a beer with. I'll tell you what put me off Nigel was when he said, um, who was that? Oswald Mosley. He said Oswald Mosley was really on, on uh, what was the word he used? I'm not familiar misunderstood. with Misunderstood. I'm not familiar with that. I thought Oswald Mosley was a Nazi. What do you mean he was misunderstood? And I think that put me on a, because I don't like Nazis. Let me just start. By yes, saying that. you're right, Alice. You're right. And not only that, authors such as Tom Bauer and even Tina Brown, they are saying things that Wally, Murky, and Taz were saying years ago. Um, and I do believe that they were watching those YouTubers and that they got ideas and material and ideas of where to look and do further research. Uh, no, I haven't seen Laura Poirot. I'll have to ha look her up. Uh, WSJ is one of the few news, our oh, Wall Street Journal, that is still neutral and roasts both parties for the most part. Maybe slightly left leaning, but it depends. Right. Okay. Thanks, Sandra. I have seen Wall Street Journal do uh, articles in favour of Meghan and Harry. Um, oh, <laughs> every time I go to click on a it jumps comment, up, it jumps up and click I click, I click it, the no, wrong one. So you oh, got to go back up. It's like a waterfall. Ah, mm. uh, no. No, I haven't heard anything at all. No, and not only that, I've got I've got that person on the WhatsApp, right? Let's go along with the name. And, um, you know, when you get two ticks, two grey ticks means your message has been sent. When you get two blue ticks, they've received it. And, they're ready. yeah, this person, the last three messages I sent them, they're just grey ticks, two grey ticks. So they, 
the message has been received, but they have not been read, which makes me think that that person has not gone back to their phone and no, I haven't been blocked by that person. So make what you will of that. Yeah. We all know that... Um, Too much information. Members, of, I'm sure members of the royal household, all kinds of people watch these channels, really, all kinds of people. Um... Well, I'd watch it. Shallon Lester, yeah, Shallon Lester. If I was Harry... <laughs> There's a question for you. No. Graham, are you a real baron? Where the name the baron came from, I'll make it really brief, okay? I had a flying club at Shoreham Airport in... I started it in 97. And we didn't have internet, really, in those days. We had a thing called the Yellow Pages. So if you were listed under flying clubs... You know, if you wanted to be the top flying club, you'd be A A A A R Odvark Flying Club, All right? And you'd be at the top because it was listed in alphabetical order. So I thought, well, I don't want to be a prick and put myself as A A A A A Odvark <laughs> Flying Club. So I thought I'll think of something beginning with a B. Trevor. So I'll be near the top. I'll be near the top. So I called it the Baron Flying Club, and people just started calling me the Baron because of the Baron Flying Club. That's was my flying club. So. I've put so, the link in the description if you wanted to come up, Trevor, and say anything. I have yeah, no idea. No idea. It could be cool, Trevor. If, 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 Only you're if, you available, want to. if you're available. But Graham's a Hesketh, so he does go back yes. to. Um, and if you look on Sandra Parrott's oh, yes. channel, she was in Westminster Abbey and she filmed uh, the Sir tomb Thomas of Sir Hesketh. Thomas Hesketh, one of my ancestors. That was absolutely brilliant that she did that, and I'd love it. He was, he was a member like of to Parliament know. in Elizabeth the First time. Where it where it is in relation to you know where the, the it's, king it's was quite, crowned and it's stuff. It's quite close, apparently. Well, that's Sandra. She knows. So she's she's uh, she's seen it. I mean, I did see it many years ago. I was in the sixties or the early seventies. My father took me there and showed me the. Right. But I can't remember. It was it was very I'm like uh, great. Yeah. Wow. Yes, yes. Well this is Westminster Abbey Graham. This is where the king's got is it? Uh, really? It's a big church. Stupid scouts. Yes, I know. do agree with you guys who are just making that point. I do think there are some people who just feel that slagging Harry and Megan off is you know, that's there's a means to an end there. And I have... don't necessarily mean it. I'm not accusing any particular YouTuber of it or anyone in the media. That's three fans. But for me, this has been a passionate thing from the beginning. I mean you remember before I started saying the thing and I was on my exercise bike listening to Wally, you'd hear me shouting at the telly going, Absolutely, absolutely you're quite right. Do you remember that? And you were like, the hell are you watching? And Lady C, I'd go, You tell them Lady C <laughs> I used to have a few and listen to the news at night. I'd be going, bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lie. Uh, so we got, okay. I'm about five minutes out from having a beer. Where, 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 it's gone. Where's it gone? There, there. Click on that one. Oh, hang on. We've got Ralph Owens on here. Let's hear the other side of the argument. All right, Trevor. Don't worry, mate. Don't worry, mate. Another time. I don't think that's being a sugar, Ralph. I think nobody wants to see Harry die or be offed no. or commit suicide. Nobody wants to see any, anything bad happen to um, to Harry. Hi, JLM. Just the comments are coming in thick and fast, so I'm trying. Well, I mean, would it be that shocking to see a sex tape of Markle? Would anybody actually really want to see that? I've got one. Don't you dare talk about it. I can't that. put it on We've YouTube. all seen it. We've all seen it. Trevor reckons it's a fake. I sent it to Trevor and he went, no, it's a fake, it's a fake, but I don't think I'm... it is. I'm, I'm... I was looking at it, I watched it several times and I thought, that's definitely her, but when she was much, much younger, she must have been in her 20s. No, we watched it again recently and I looked at the face and I thought, it's not quite right. Now I know her face really well. I don't think it's well, real. Well, you've got to wind the tape back. But I think it's shocking. 20, you know, 20, early it's shocking, isn't it? <laughs> it looks just like her. And it's a proper porn film getting banged, you know what I mean? And you're like, are you? Is that Meghan Markle? And you're like... <laughs> yeah, because none of us really knew her face that well. So, I mean, well, it was so convincing at first. Trevor reckoned it was a fake. But, I mean, I can't post it on YouTube, for goodness sake. I get the channel taken down. <laughs> Yes, I know. Ralph is a regular commenter on um, on my channel, at least. I don't know if he comments on other people's channels, but I'm used to Ralph. 
I'm used to him. Um, Sandra, Sandra, there you go. Click on Sandra. It's the very first epitaph on the right when you walk into the abbey. Oh, right. On the right. So oh, when we by see... the main door, the back door. So when they're meeting all the bishops and stuff, that's what I we've thought got to it was at the top by the altar, but yes, I, can't, I, can't. I can't remember. Uh, it couldn't have been that important, <laughs> then, if it was right at the back. Yeah, you and me, too. you and me both. Because at the time, when there were only a few YouTubers, it just felt like I was going crazy, like I was the only person who could see, you know, what the hell's going on here? Uh, hi, now, Meg. If it's the one I think, it looks like her face when she was much younger. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Right. MI6. Uh, a lot of people made the point that he's a he's a fully grown man and it's illegal to kidnap people. But I do think they have other options. I really do. And I think they might. I think stuff might have already been happening. But of course, unbeknown to us, now that there's this idea he's going to Africa or could already be in Africa. I mean, what if MI6, for example, had a, a video of Megan saying so, just hypothetical. All right. Don't get upset if any sugars are watching. Hypothetically saying, I hate that bastard. Let's let's kill him, you know. Let's say that they've got an MI6 go, oh, Harry, who are they? Just send it to him in his inbox and in his email, and he sees and hears his own wife. Oh, will they? And I'll send it to you. You know, that, remember. that could be enough to wake him up from some, um, I have a cat crush on, what's it? Oh, <laughs> my cat's name is crush, Karen. Karen. <laughs> I have a crush on you too, I find you both. Oh, she was married when she made that one. It was totally real. <laughs> Didn't she have a boyfriend who was a porn star or something at one point? I've got it on my computer downstairs. I have to figure out to send it to Ian. <laughs> yeah, it's to make it public on YouTube for goodness oh, sake. No, no, I only found out about it by watching another YouTube video and someone put the link in the comments and said yeah, yeah. it's on something called Pinjab Pornhub. Was it Pornhub? I can't remember. Well, Trevor reckoned it was an actress who looked similar to her and i thought well where is this actress because she could do she could do megan markle um impressions wouldn't she she could, she could go around and make money yeah because she it's a dead spit of her but in her early 20s so it must have been filmed when was she born 70s? maybe yeah maybe 70s. he wouldn't believe it she i don't know when 80s, she's born. That's, she born a, in the 80s, that's a bone of contention some people believe she's several years older than she is i think There's i think i think they met in 75 77 something like that. <laughs> so she, she couldn't she must have been born late 70s which is 40 years ago isn't it so it's, if she was in her early 20s yeah yeah typical sort of porn film that you know a growing actress who wanted to go down that avenue would have made and it, it just it, it's i swear to god i look at it and i think it, it's it's her that's not strictly but speaking, i might be wrong that's not strictly speaking true ralph he says lady c great sensational stories never come true um i think i really would disagree with that because there have been things that have come true i mean basically you could buy her book about megan and harry and make comparisons because she wrote that when she first started the YouTube channel, she was promoting that, and it, that was before it was published. I haven't read it myself, but I'm going to order it and then make comparisons between that and what has happened over the last couple of years. So, um, I just I wanted to give Ralph I, um, a voice, so we can hear the other side of the argument as well, because Ralph does defend Harry particularly. I've noticed not so much Meghan. Or am I wrong about that, Ralph? Are you? Um, Did the actress have chicken legs? Okay, no you, you two see William. She out looked all right, actually. Night. She looked all right in the porn film. Not that I watch porn <laughs> films, but someone <laughs> sent it me. It was her that's who sent it to me. Yes, it was. It's <laughs> the only reason I watched it. I don't watch porn films. <laughs> but uh, I thought, yeah, she looks all right, actually, in that. Yeah. Right, guys. Well, we've been going for an hour and 40 minutes, so I think we're going to wrap this up quite soon thank you all very very much for joining the live absolutely everybody it's been fantastic we'll do more we'll do more we now that we've got starlink we will definitely because it's a chance for you all to talk to each other a bit more real yeah. time than because comments on youtube are quite static aren't they um how about scooby coming out with a book and be straight out of, well yeah i mean i was saying earlier i just don't believe a word i mean scooby says after the misremembering nonsense and, no they never helped me i never got proof no 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 
I mean, how did he know she peed in the bushes in Africa? I think it might have been more of a golden shower. Do you think that's his thing? Could be. Okay, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us. And we will be signing over and out, which means you're going to say... Good night. And may your God go with you. <laughs>